Hey there guys! Mga kagaya kong babagsakin sa math. Welcome again to another lesson. So in this video, we'll be talking about the difference of the two. What is the difference of permutation and combination? Kasi like if we encounter some problems and nakukonfuse tayo kung anong gagamitin natin na formula. Like are we going to use a permutation formula or a combination formula? So depending on sa mga keywords. So I hope that after watching this video, maklik clear na yung confusion na yun. Permutation as defined by the textbooks is the arrangement of objects in a set. So remember the keyword, guys, it's arrangement. And combination, on the other hand, is the selection of objects regardless of order. So para kay combination, arrangement doesn't matter. So actually, yung dalawang definitions na yan ay enough for us to differentiate too. But let's have an example to better understand them. Okay, so you might have seen these locks before. So one of them is a permutation lock and the other one is a combination lock. But which is which? Okay, let's say yung passcode ng dalawang lock na yan ay 1, 4, 3. Like for lock A, kung i-input natin yung passcode na yan, we have to like follow the arrangement of numbers. Like sa first slot, we have to input 1. 4 ang i-input natin sa second slot, and then 3 sa third slot. So, dapat naka-arrange yung 1, 4, 3. Kasi kung hindi, hindi mag a yan. Okay? So, lock A, my arrangement. For lock B, kung i-input natin yung passcode, it doesn't matter which number we press first, di ba? As long as prines natin yung tatlong numbers na yan, yung 1, 4, 3, magbubukas yan. It doesn't matter kung aling number ang iperpress mo first or second or third. Ang importante, basta napindot mo yung tatlong numbers na yan, mag a yan. So, siguro naman alam na natin na si lock A ay permutation lock and combination lock naman si lock B. There is actually a misconception about this one. Si lock A, most people call this combination lock which is not supposed to be. This lock is a permutation lock kasi nga may arrangement. Like we have to follow the arrangement of the numbers if we're going to input the passcode. Okay? So, let's have a little exercise. Let's try to determine if the following situations are permutations or combination. Okay, so I'll be giving you like 8 to 10 seconds to write your answers in your head and then later I'm going to reveal the correct answer. And so, Timer starts now. Are you dying? Okay. Time's up. Siguro naman naka 10 seconds na tayo. Okay, so let's reveal the correct answers. So number one and four, they are permutations. Why? If we're going to look at number one, if we're going to determine the top three winners in a quiz B, since that says top three winners, we have first, second, and third. There is a rank. There is an arrangement of winners, right? So that is a permutation. Number four, if we enter our pin codes on our phones, we have to like follow the arrangement of the digits, right? So that is a permutation. Number two, three, and five are combinations. Like um, try to look at the keywords for number two choosing three of your classmates you're just going to choose no arrangement involved three picking six balls again there is no arrangement involved and number five forming a comedy of five members from 20 people so number five mag choose ka lang ng limang members to make up a comedy so it doesn't involve arrangement so yun guys okay always remember Permutation, there is an arrangement. For combination, arrangement doesn't matter. So if you guys have time, kindly visit my YouTube channel and click that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. <sighs> See you guys in my YouTube channel.